Now, let's take a look at all those vulnerabilities that have aggregated into Tenoblio itself. We can get a far more granular view into those vulnerabilities by pivoting over to the vulnerability workbench. This is going to be a view that's aggregating all found vulnerabilities, listing them out by severity and count, and allowing you to begin applying filters to this data so that you can begin turning these very large data sets into more meaningful, narrowed data sets. This filter I just applied is a VPR prioritization filter where we're taking a look at found vulnerabilities with a VPR rating of greater than nine, so vulnerabilities that have been actively weaponized, and cross-referencing that with the CVSS base score of a medium grade vulnerability between four and 6.9. Typically, in most enterprise environments, medium grade vulnerabilities are not being prioritized for remediation. What Tenable is effectively saying is that a vulnerability with a VPR score of greater than nine, because it is introducing weaponized risk to your environment, should be prioritized for remediation. If we drill down into one of these vulnerabilities, we're going to list out description information and the affected CVEs, as well as solution information too, so exactly how you can remediate this particular vulnerability. On the bottom half of the page, we'll list out the affected assets, whether that's domain controllers, laptops, however you have them named, they'll all be displayed here. And if you pivot over to the output section, we'll be telling you and providing evidence as to why we're saying a vulnerability is found on a particular asset. This first asset here is pretty interesting because we queried SCCM and SCCM is actually saying that this, this asset is not vulnerable. We're providing the evidence as to why we're saying it is. We're giving you the fix for this particular asset as well, either a cumulative security update or a monthly roll up, your choice. Um, in the case of Microsoft KBs, we are looking for three factors. One, that that security update or monthly roll up has in fact been installed. Two, that if a registry key, if required by Microsoft, has in fact been modified. And three, that that server or workstation has in fact been restarted. If either one of those three conditions has not been met, we will provide evidences for that in the vulnerability output section here for each individual asset itself. On the right-hand side of the page, we're going to give you vulnerability information, plugin details, publication date, all the uh, tenable plugin specific information you'd expect to see. Exploitability information. So this vulnerability, despite being a medium grade vulnerability from a CVSS perspective, is in fact vulnerable. There, there are known exploits for this. This is a vulnerability that can easily be weaponized against you, either through exploit frameworks or exploitable and malware as well. So this is something that would definitely you definitely want to prioritize for remediation to remove that risk from your environment. We'll give you discovery information, so first seen, last seen, how long the vulnerability has been present within your environment, as well as VPR key drivers. And these are designed to give you additional contextual information surrounding that VPR score. Threat intensity, threat recency, exploit code maturity, all of these different attributes come together to create that score, to adjust that score on a daily basis, as well as your threat sources. In this case, social media, hacker forums, security research. We're pulling in that data to help us you know, create a more informed decision when we go to calculate that VPR score. We scroll down the page here, we're going to list out all that traditional CVSS uh, vulnerability information that you would expect to see in our products, vulnerability information for publication, exploitability, and then all the additional links you need to external resources, whether that's CVE or Microsoft KBs, so that you can do some additional, additional research outside of the product if required. Now, from this page, we can export this, these found vulnerabilities if we needed to. We can also launch a remediation scan. So if I have a system, system administrator saying, hey, you know, this, this particular asset labeled Josh is in fact been remediated, or this vulnerability found on it has in fact been remediated, you can go validate that work very easily by launching a tactical scan or a remediation scan to go out and validate that this individual vulnerability has in fact been remediated by all the assets affected by it, or for all the assets affected by it. Very quick, very easy way to validate work that has in fact been done. Thank you.